Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and today we're going to be playing another um, part of uh, the quarry. So, um, if you haven't seen the last part, I would highly recommend that you do because a lot of stuff happened. But now we're going to be playing Dylan, which um, honestly seems like probably one of the most normal gay people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, uh, let's hit it. Um, last episode, we had to decide on how to react to Brian, so... I'm protective, mind your own business, and friendly. Is it about me? Let's do friendly, because I mean, we want to be friends with Brian. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? <laughs> you think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. <laughs> you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this That's place, cool. weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who Hag? Is it? Where now? There's a witch? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Dude, there's a witch in this game. I don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? <laughs> Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> uh, I love the dialogue. Sure Dylan's funny as fuck. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop the saying Hag of Hackett's Hag Quarry? quarry? <laughs> the dialogue's great. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um... There's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods oh, looking shit. for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haggah Haggah's Quarry. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> Brian's cool. Oh, sorry, bro. I love Brian. Defensive, better than yours. Supportive, you should have seen the kids. I don't know. I just want them all to get along, you know? I just, I don't... We'll do defensive just because it says better than yours, or you should have seen the kids. I'm not sure. Oh, we'll do, we'll do support because I want to bring it along. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for I life. Didn't, I didn't mean that's what. Oh, I didn't think you gotta you'd... be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, oh! Yeah, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. <laughs> Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. H. He's literally got a yeah, Chad face, but just fat as fuck. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories. <laughs> the Hag of Hackett's Ghost War. stories. Oh. <laughs> He's got the biggest cheeks. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. <laughs> Such a chill dude. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Uh... What would he do? We'll be annoyed just because I want to see if there is another way. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping girl <laughs> in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> that's funny right, as hell. That's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. <laughs> I said no, Dylan. Oh yeah, no! Just... Meet you at the van, okay? Oh, I didn't want Ryan to get angry. Oh shit! I didn't mean for that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, shit. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing w with the. 
Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. We're gonna eavesdrop, eavesdrop, eavesdrop. What? The stupid kids. It's going to be so musty, boy. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste geared of time. up. You know it. I know it. No, should I have? He's gone. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Oh, I better get away from the door. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. Why does it matter if he's disappointing me? You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. He's not really, I, I, I feel that when you're talking to someone and he's not listening. It's hard, you know. Uh, is everything okay? Don't, I want to be frustrated because sometimes you got to be the big person to realize there's someone else on someone's mind. That happens to everyone, so I'd be concerned. Is everything okay? When someone gets stuff off of them, you generally think everything becomes okay, you know? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? <laughs> oh boy. The, I love the dialogue, it's great. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Oh. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? That's horrible. I'll be apologetic, but it's it still hurts, you know, because like. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys. Don't <laughs> <see anything>? <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. That's crazy, yeah, dude. <sighs> Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Inquisitive and understanding. He's already disappointed us, so I don't want him to be more angry, but it's also like, you gotta figure it out why. I think I think we should butter him a bit more, just because he's already like, but we'll do understanding. We'll, we'll be understanding. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game, and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Oh, he's going to sound like cool. to Caleb and Kaylee for me. He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. 
Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got a whole <laughs> life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. <laughs> Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. I do that sometimes. Right where I left it. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Dude, I relate to Brian, man. Like, they, no, I shouldn't say, this is, all the characters are really well written. Like, it, it, the dialogue feels natural, very natural, you know? Just from someone that's been in theater before, I, I I can speak to how well the acting is, man. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. <laughs> you should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> what the fuck? He called him a noob. <laughs> That's I'm funny. To dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. That's funny. Move it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, Mr. That. H. Yeah, dude, it's just like... Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, funny. let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. <laughs> dude, enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. Right, dude, Come on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Oh, no. I just feel bad that Mr. H is... Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Brian's hurt a little bit, so he kind of understands. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I... I... I want to say yes, but it's also like, I want to be like, I'm not sure, because I, I want him to have trust in us, but it's also like, I want to be honest too, I want to be like, I'm not, I'm not sure, what, 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 why, what, what's going on, you know, but seriously, like, that just sounds mean, like, seriously, you know, I don't, We have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, yeah, that's what I, I do. I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Yeah, he knows something bad, bad's gonna happen, dude. I do not like that. Oh, God. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. 
Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. Yeah. We could go inside <laughs> until morning. Yeah. Or. Dude, Dylan's gonna kill we us. Could do something else. Dylan's gonna kill us. We gotta follow Chris's instructions. That's what I do. No, 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 yeah. no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, PRT, okay. why the One fuck not? That's funny. Bonfire blowout for all time. <sighs> oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah. My people need me. <laughs> what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he no, want to scare us? If he's slamming the fucking thing like he is, I think it's serious. At least I'm assuming just because how he usually acted before that phone call. Support, if he was just concerned for us, that's what I do. Yeah. I'm sure he's just... Looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Marty. I, I didn't mean. <laughs> yeah, Marty. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> Do I am, Ryan? Do you guys hear that breathing? What the fuck? I'll do. I made promise. I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. No, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. I fucked up, I think. I feel so bad for Brian. He's just... He's a loner, man. I just... But it's like, he's he's normal. The Everyone else just kind of gives a shit about themselves. He's... Okay, let's look at, look at this. Defensive, someone's got to give a shit. Dismissive, whatever, man. Um, I'll be defensive, honestly, because, yeah, this is important, so I'd be defensive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told no. me. <sighs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. At least I got, I got it through to Dylan, so that matters, you know? You got you to gotta make sure that all people right, actually understand right, saying right. it's tears. going down. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. <laughs> for something, what the fuck? <laughs> God, what the fuck? Uh, that's funny. What? What the? F what? What? Why? What in the hell? They're bloody as fuck. What is going on, dude? Oh my lord, dude. Hunting season, dude. Oh my. Okay.
that's very damn scary. I'll be real with you, dude. I'll be real with you, dude. That's that's. <sighs> uh, I did. I don't know. Usually, I don't like it when they just show real people being like that. But for some reason, it just feels very ominous. I I, I can't put my finger on. I don't think. Holy shit! That felt. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> nice. To be balanced. To consume in moderation. Yes. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes... Deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Yes. See more. See more. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay. I so I want to be able to like obviously like help make sure nobody dies. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon that, is bright, hard for me to tell what's time won't wait. going on. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Okay. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Thank you, I think. I that didn't really tell me a whole lot, but I, I hope it helps. And look out for my cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old bitty cat lady. Jeez. That. I don't know, man, but I feel, honestly, I feel kind of scared about those hillbillies, dude. It's, it, I don't, they gave me cannibal vibes, or like, I can't put my finger on it, but it just, it just felt so menacing, you know? Chapter two, truth or dare. Ah, oh, let's go. I'm excited for this, I really am. General store, opening hours, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Nice. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? What the fuck? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating Bruh. taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, That's I'm almost funny. done, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick, we'll try kicking the door. Oh Whoa. shit. And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Can we all see that flash of just glitch? Okay. So. Okay. I guess. If I were a beer. Just me. Where would I be hiding? A beer. <laughs> That's funny. Beep. 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 What beep. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. It's my beer dar. <laughs> for beers. I love him, dude. <laughs> He's how great. Am I just noticing how super lame you are. What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. It's my beard art, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I, I like that really wipe this place out. necklace chain thing going on there. It's it's, it's kind of hot. Honestly, Mr. I think it's really cool. Love his accessories. Kind of rocks it. I'm, I'm got I got some uh, vibes going on with that. Oh shit. 
think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. I feel dumb. Oh. I feel like I should have found a card oh, for that. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. <laughs> See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You, just, right. you pour the vodka right in. That's the yeah. one the female genitalia joke we've made so far or, at all. Well, second most. This is one thing you'll notice okay. about movies and games, long, especially they're American. For some more party supplies. They will never mention pussy. Hardly ever. They're scared to, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know what it is about pussy people are scared of. It's always like, oh no, pussy! Like, that's always what it is, I swear to God, man. On God, man. This is interesting. Okay, so now, now it's more, actually, I can turn and look around in third-person view. It's not like... We just saw this in the woods. Harem, scarum. Oh my god, I get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter 2. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem, Scarum. The date released shows it's over six years ago. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting to realize something. So, um... This, this whole thing here, um... It's connected. This... This this lady is literally the one that we talked to with the tarot cards. That's her. I'm, I can't believe they didn't connect yet. That's her. It's not just some event. She's a part of it. So interesting, dude. You kick the other door down. Kick that one down. I'm too weak for this one. Literally kicks down a fucking oak wood door. That's locked. <laughs> Okay, I know metal and, you know, wood is different, but still, like... Just saying she's got some power behind them legs, okay? That's all I'm saying. Oh, dude. Okay, I guess the reason why I'm so scared of these, like, hillbilly guys is because, like, they seem just so menacing and, like... Unempathetic. Like, you could tell already that, like, they were determined to do some fucked up shit. You know? That's kind of disturbing, you know? It's, it's it's a little disturbing. So. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I wanna open that up. Because if something happens, I did not. I, I, wanna, I wanna fast route, you know? I saw him coming. We gotta make it safe. That's all I gotta say. We got it. We got it. We got to make her make her safe. Okay. If uh, if something happens, and I I can I think I think something something's gonna happen. <laughs> Hello, old friends. What if that's gonna pop up later? Oh yeah. If we leave the props, I feel like it's gonna be used for one of the other characters. But I want to scare Jacob too. I feel like if we scare Jacob, he's going to think the next time something happens, it's us again. So we're going to leave the props. Maybe I should give the guy a break. That's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the props so that we don't get confused later. If, let's say, someone's in the house and it's like, oh, I know it's you, ha ha ha. They don't get confused. Now there won't be an excuse if that does happen. Because that's the biggest thing we don't want. We want these characters to be very... Self-aware and smart. Granted, though, for a kill two. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably killed one, which is max. But quote: "Too high. Look for cheaper option next year." I see. What's it? That's sad. <sighs> it's kind of sad that everything's like just packed up. Like there's nothing. But I wonder where this goes. I don't like where this angle is. Dude, it's, it's, something's gonna what? happen. <laughs> Called Jacob? Um? 
if we die here or something happens to us, he can get back up. If he's with us, I'm not sure he can actually save us. We'll kick the door. That's what we'll do. Ow! Mother Hubbard! Ah! Good, yeah. It's probably best that she doesn't get in there. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. He comes anyway. That's bad. That's bad. If she runs, it might not be good. That's bad. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Either way, he would open the door. Now it's just bad because yeah. she hurt her leg. Oh, fuck. I don't like this. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if he kept this place locked up. Think he'll be pissed when we made his stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <laughs> human rights, sir. Human? Whatever. What? <laughs> I love that. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. What is in this room? In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. I feel like he's going to lock it on. It's just to fuck with us. <laughs> then why is it? Oh, my God. Okay. What's in here? A human head. Jacob. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags, two torn hiking bags stashed with flux dry blood. Well, Did thanks. I want to think those are the, uh, that's Max and Kelly. That's, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. 7739. Seven, uh, seven, 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 oh, cool. And, uh, code. You know what it's for. Don't pretend you don't. 7739. 7739. Okay. I'm done. She's taking it. With. Okay, interesting. Well, we got that. But now we gotta find shells if we can. Is that it? I guess so. Okay, let's go. Nice. Oh. So you're uh, <laughs> you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I wonder what would happen if you go in and you don't grab the gun. Like deliberately, you don't try to grab the gun. I wonder if you would just like leave that the gun then. Kind of uh, interesting, you know. All right, we gotta go back, unlock that one safe, and then uh, call her good, you know. But seven seven three nine seven seven three nine. All right. I don't remember. Yeah, you got it, right? She, yep, she's got it. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we don't have to put it in there, and she just does it, you know? That makes me happy. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> oh, there's the ammo. Here, here's the, uh... What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Flashback thingy. Oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Take him. You know, you're right. Take him. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um. Oh, I'm an idiot. Shot, um, fireworks. Maybe. It could go both <laughs> good way and bad way. Because it could either I, lure them I to us like or it could call for help. One. Bags back there. They were pretty messed up and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> Oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Well, he's really listening. Dude, peanut butter, fucking butter pops. I'd be affectionate, you know. 
What are butter pops? But no. I don't like either Why? choice because it's like I can't believe you shouldn't it. criticize oh, them for the butter pops. It's because you're telling them about maybe <laughs> someone that died. Like I feel oh weird God. about them posing. Like that snack. hit me oh, really popcorn. wrong. That what that was kind of cringe. Like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. The acting's you know great though. I like it, it keeps you since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. All right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds? <laughs> <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> I don't get why Ladies she... Ladies first. Mm. Yep. Which way? Why why is she weird about the wheelbarrow thing? I don't get it. Does anybody else get it? I don't Maybe she's planning something, that's all I can think of. Uh I see. That's weird. I mean okay, okay, you know. Alright. Inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. Dude, they're gonna be gay All for right. each other. Um. Friendly, it was to be friendly, yeah, of course. Uh, what's it called? He's a friend. You're listening to right now. Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, the <laughs> uh, weird mysteries and discussing if they're well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it, boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So. Should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, private den of sin? What the fuck? Oh uh, man, I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? Bro. <laughs> you would not want to know the answer. Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Alright, that's it. So. We got this. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. <laughs> That's cute. I don't want to flirt because he's going to obviously just turn me down right away. We're going to be sarcastic at first. Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. <laughs> good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? It's weird, I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. Alright, let's keep looking. Um, grab... Oh, it's talking about four. Oh, okay, no, it's the phone. <laughs> grab it again. That's funny. But I want to see what happens if I keep grabbing it. It, it doesn't let you do anything. It just just stares. At, that's funny. I thought something funny. Uh, something weird happened, but nah, it, it won't. Uh, I thought you could just keep on picking up the phone and probably just look at you like. <laughs> a 
Oh, that's it? What? Okay, let's go, I guess. Weird. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Reclusive. All right. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Suspicious. Guess it goes to the basement. Playful. Secret sex dungeon. <laughs> Playful, playful. I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. <laughs> I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Bro. Uh -huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement or something. <laughs> Open it up. You see, if I, if I, if, yeah, so if you're playful, you see how you just like open it up and just. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Oh, shit. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Climb down for sure. Oh, shit. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 He's fucking with it's them. It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> I had you going there for a second. I love him. He's such no. a great character. Maybe. Just shut up. <laughs> it is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. That's where Max and Kelly went missing, I think. That's scary. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> I... Dude, that's scary. Um... Let me dismiss him. Come on, he's not good now. <laughs> okay. Just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? Come on. Watch out. Oh, no. <laughs> what a dork. That's a design flaw. I feel like this is set slightly in the past, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm just, I keep looking oh. at Brian's earbuds, Laura you know? Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. <laughs> okay, what's it look like? Laura and Max, not Kelly. Where am I getting Kelly? Where did I get Kelly from? It's Laura. I'm, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, it's Laura and Max. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's keep looking around the room. Probably some more we can look at and decide. Um. Ooh, what's this? The hey, cast? Oh, the gun. Oh. Uh, Chris. Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Leave shit. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. All the faces, man. Uh, I feel Brian, but it's also like, uh, as a player, I feel like we need the gun. The more guns we we have, the better, right? Um, so, especially so since the other girl has one now, so, um, serious, what if we need it, and playful. 
what if bears crash a party? Let's do playful. Because it seems like playful works to Brian, and then Brian goes serious, and it works. Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? <laughs> okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. <laughs> bear. Dangerous thing I've seen in these woods. Bro, dude. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. That change anything in the future, that choice? Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Let's go for the gun again. Dylan, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. <laughs> it does know. Mean. Can you do it again? <laughs> oh, you can't. Damn it. I want to grab the fucking thing. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> dude, Brian's like... Uh, poor fucking Brian, dude. That's funny. Uh, Yo, my guy. Tossing the keys? Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, look at that quick time. I'm so cool. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Why the music change? Why the music change? Oh, shit. Well, we can mess with this. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. What? Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Oh, shit! Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like... Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Dude. Let's do inter... Okay, interesters are mischievous. So he's looking for Bigfoot? That's going... He's going to get angry by bringing up his podcast. I don't think he's going to get angry by bringing up Bigfoot. And he's going to get more... Realistic with me, so let's do mischievous. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy <laughs> pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about Bruh. an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's, okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation. 
Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation. Yeah. Like, uh, what was that like? <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving this secret layer. This game I has a little bit of optimization issues layer. at times. That's weird. I agree with Dylan though, like, you know, this is kind of weird, you know, I would, this is weird. I, I although I, you always want to be overly cautious with this stuff, you do. Because it's better to be overly cautious than to become a statistic. Is that it? Oh shit, there's a key. Or, okay, I guess we can't grab the key. Oh, that? He saw. Oh, he's seeing the. It's probably nothing. Someone. Okay, I had more faith in this dude. If. Okay. What? Evacuation site. What? Okay. Interesting. Oh, we got some stuff over here. Huh. New York, huh? What? You see that? Is that all that is? I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel dumb for... Yeah, they're, they're getting letters. So... He, he knew, and he's just basically avoiding it. That's not... All that good. Can I get out now? I don't like that. Why is he coming out of it like a dork? <laughs> Alright, well, what else he's got in this rare uh, area? Can you at least grab that and use it? That'll be a bad idea. Sounds like there's nothing else in here, really. There we go. Alright, what's in here? There's nothing, dude! There's all boring shit. Well, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Well, I'm not sure if having a bunch of pain meds is always heavy-duty, but I mean, just having that much, I would say, is, you know. Alright, we good? Yeah, let's go. I think I think we're good. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Oh, boyfriend. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. I feel that. Are the uh, phones? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? <laughs> oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Dude, poor Brian, man. He's just so awkward, man. He's so fucking awkward. What's on the ground? So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, Picked out a major, or I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? <laughs> are the phones done yet? I love that. So, am I missing? Some I feel like I'm missing something. Then, all right, what's in here that I'm missing? Not that. I feel like, what am I missing, man? What's in here? Nothing. There's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, the phones, the phones. I'm an idiot. Let's check the phones. Should I check? Yeah, let's check the phones. I'm an idiot. Nice. Full up. Continue exploring. Hit the party. 
Let's head to the party because hey, it's Delta. boring. All right, cool. Let's go. I, I should have a better reason to explore, but nah. Nah. Thank you. I don't think 28% is good enough, though, dude. I would wait in there. I'd have my phone in there and do some other shit and come back. Because <laughs> 28 goes fast. I'll, I'll, maybe not with all phones nowadays, though. Because, like, 28% of my phone here, like, lasts me, like, an hour. Maybe even more. Like, it's it's pretty damn good. My last phone, though, I had, like... Full power meant, like, an hour and a half. We're gonna do. And now we're with Nick. So we've effectively taken control of close to all the characters it's a lot this easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. They can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Nick gives me this vibe from like we go? the guy from Twilight. Why don't you choose? I forgot. Um. We'll go on Rocky Road just because the it seems more dangerous, and I feel like that's gonna be a. I think it's just a red herring. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh. Not yet. Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, shit, I'm in control. Okay, let's do it. I mean, it's not bad music. It's just, I'll be real with you. This is not my vibe. <laughs> What's this say? Dominant rock. Some kind of... Wardsite? So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's really cool. I, I give it my stamp of approval. <laughs> Danger, falling rocks. Oh shit, I don't like that. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. Alrighty. Um Right is always right. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I Okay, I gotta move it. I don't like that. I'm not like you're in that. Did one falls cause she said it was safe, I will be so fucking pissed. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> She's such a bitch. It's clearly falling, and you're like, "Come down, come down." No, I'm not calming down. Shit. What the fuck, dude? These are the sticks you're grabbing, really? Oh my god. <laughs> this is really pretty, though. Honestly. Just for a game in general, too, though. Like this game was just done great with the acting and the. Uh, I guess the overall quality of everything, you know, they didn't, they've done a phenomenal job, so I'll give them that always. They've been doing a great job. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. So overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? 
Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. What a hippie! Like it's all predetermined. Fate. He's not me though. Pedanic? I've never heard that term before. That's a cool word. Okay. Pedanic. Interesting. Uncertain. I'm not sure what we're supposed to know. I wouldn't call it that exactly. Well, I don't like ins like self-inserting, but because I have to make a choice, I am technically so. I don't like fate. As y'all know, I think destiny is uh, a bad thing to rely everything on. So, um, I'm going to make it my own, and I'm going to say I wouldn't call it that exactly. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, I see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. <laughs> Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Damn! Well, thanks. That really just made him feel great. What an asshole. I kind of feel that, though. Why do you always walk so slow in stairs and shit? Like, I'm always just fucking flying. Everyone else is like... Like, they always walk, like, so fucking slow. I feel like there's something over here. No? No, okay, there's not. You gotta move, lady. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> She's having a heart. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess. That's funny. Oh, we gotta go down these stairs. You know, I, I should look behind myself more because I feel like these NPCs don't really do things the way they should. Is it cutscene or am I moving? No, it's a cutscene. It's a cutscene. I'm not actually moving them. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like where this is going, dude. I'm curious when the cop's gonna come back, though. I like Ted Raimi's actually having a role again, you know? That's really cool. Are you good? Playful, do me. Or sincere, you're really good. I feel like she appreciates me being straightforward with stuff, and I'm going to. I feel like I, I want to be, sin, you know, sincere. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? They do a really good job with uh, of a lot, Nick. eyes I mean, in this of game. Course. I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Alright, so um, I thought that was a good place to end it. We've done quite a bit in this episode, and there's been a lot of lagging, so i got to edit a lot of it out. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys did, please leave a, uh, leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, there's a lot more in this series to go, I believe. And um, I'm just glad everyone's alive still. So um, if you're enjoying the narrative, if you're enjoying everything, um, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, as always, guys, um, smile, keep right up. And uh, let's fight for a future so bright. Let's do it for eyes. Um, I'm just guys, uh, see you guys in the next video, and my name is Blue Sam. Uh, bye guys. Whoop!